Hey guys, so in today's video, I decided to just kind of share with you guys like my go-to look for any lip color. Whenever I don't know how to do my makeup or I don't really know what to wear or I don't know what lip color I'm going to want to wear, but I know I want to wear something a little more on the bold side, this is kind of like my go-to look because I feel like it's very neutral, but it goes with everything. And then I've also been getting a lot of like when I post my lip colors like on Instagram and stuff like that, I get a lot of you guys telling me that you could never wear a lip color like that or... You wish you could pull off lip colors like that and you know stuff like that but honestly I feel like anybody could wear any lip color it just all depends on you know I mean obviously you have to like it on yourself you know so if you like it on yourself it just depends on how you balance it out with your eyes and then your cheeks and stuff so I'm gonna show you guys my little trick and this is like my look when I want to wear bold colors neutral colors like right now I'm just wearing a neutral pink but I'm gonna show you guys different lip colors as well so yeah if you guys want to see my go-to look for bold lip colors or just any lip color in general, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I already primed my lid with the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance. And now I'm just going to take the light side from this. This is the Revlon Color Stay Shadow Stick in 201 Torch. And I'm just taking like the champagne base. I'm going to put a little bit of that. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on my lid. And then I'm going to take just like a flat kind of large wide shader brush and you can pretty much use any type of taupey, maybe a little bit of a, a little bit of a bronzy kind of champagne taupe mix. Like from this palette you could use any of these shades down here. You could use the champagne shade here but I'm going to go in with this one right here and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and take it into the crease. And then I'm just going to take a, like a pointed crease brush and I'm going to take that exact same color and just kind of run it in my crease. And for my highlight, I'm just going to take this cream color right here. And then you can just go ahead and blend that eyeshadow with your highlight. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. It's really easy, but you guys will see at the end how it all just comes together. And for eyeliner, I'm just sticking to my regular liner, which is like bold and winged and all that. And I'm using this Physicians Formula eyeliner from the Blue Eyes set. And it's just black. It has really teeny tiny blue like glitter sparkles, but when it's on like this, you can't really see them. So I'm just going to take that with my favorite eyeliner brush. This is the Sigma E05. And I'm just going to do my eyeliner. Now I'm just going to comb my lashes and apply mascara. And I'm just using the CoverGirl 24 hour lash blast. And now I'm just going to apply my foundation, concealer, eyebrows and stuff like that. But then I'll show you guys how I like I finish my face. Okay, now I'm going to be using a bronzer and I don't like to use well, for this look in particular, I don't like to use like a specific like a bright blush because, you know, I wanted to go with like any lip color so I don't want too much color on my face so I always just go with bronzer and I kind of use just like use it as a blush and if you want what I've been liking is this blush this is by NYX it's called mauve and it's a very just kind of light like barely there shade and I'll just put that in the apples on my cheeks I'm pairing a little bit of the blush on top of the bronzer. I feel like it just kind of helps it all blend, but it's still adding a teensy bit of color to your cheeks without it being too much. And this is pretty much the completed look. And the first lip color that I have on for you guys is this one. And this is called Satin Rosewood. And it looks like that. And it's just like a neutral pink. I feel like this look would also look really nice with like a nude lip or like a brown lip or something. You can also do this with like super bright pink lips. And this is the CoverGirl lipstick in 325 Spellbound. It looks like this. It's really bright, but again, it just evens out with this eye because the eye is so neutral that it just kind of goes with everything. You can also do this with like purple berry lips. This is a Sonia Kashuk lipstick called Violetta, one of my all-time current favorites. The Sonia Kashuk lipsticks in general are my favorites right now. And this one looks like this. It's really kind of berry, a little more darker, like perfect for fall and winter. 
So you can also do this color. You can also do a darker red. And this is from the Sephora by Isaac Isaac collection. And it comes with two lipsticks, but I'm using the darker one in the tube that looks like this. It looks darker red, but it's a little more... It looks brighter because of the lighting, but it is a, like a more of a darker red, so you could do dark red as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Again, I really feel like anybody could wear any lip color as long as you kind of balance it out with your like the rest of your makeup. And if you're scared about like wearing bold lip colors or any type of color on your lips, I would start off with pink. That's how I started. I was always scared of trying different lip colors, but after trying a pink that was a little more of like a brighter but it was a luster finish so it wasn't too much I just fell in love and that's what started my kick with different lip colors and now I just love to play with my lip colors that's why I kind of really like this look because no matter what lip color I decide to go with that day I feel like it's gonna go with everything so again I hope you guys liked it I will have everything that I used and all the lip colors I shared with you guys listed in the description box below if you guys have any more questions please let me know and yeah I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>